I wanted her to get focused today, not just in hits. I wanted her to get focused in everything else, in the defense, and the block, and the serve. Is that okay? Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm from Brazil and I'm very proud of the volleyball that we have there. And we are really passionate to play the game. Nice, Danny! Nice pass, Hannah! Because you have to compete as hard as you can to get that spot. And then I had the opportunity to play for so long, so I was really uh, engaged to be good every single day. Harder, that's it! Nice pass, Leti! Nice set, Bruna. I will say that my focus here is it's take care about your, our culture, take care about our people, and take care about our process. And we have to be in the tough moments in this way and in the good moments also carrying these three things. Nice serve! You see? Relax! The first thing that comes to mind when I think of Diogo is, is hard work. Everything that we need to get accomplished He's right there leading the way. Push a little bit more. Deep, 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 deep. That's a nice swing, Hannah. The coach staff are here to serve the players and to be a good mentor for them, a good leader, a good example. Nice serve, girl. I think the thing that's missing is just the communication with the people around you. Ball coming, close, close, watch, move. Like, we can make this work, but everybody needs to be as engaged as possible. Noah, he's uh, a hard worker, and I think he compliment me. That already feels better. Nice job. He knows ladies. about the recruiting. He has a lot of contacts here, but he's really huge in this aspect to organize everything that's off the court. Nice job. It heightened our senses, for sure. It's getting us alert. I grew up in Hawaii, so everything that I did was volleyball related. The more you play something, the more you do something, um, the more it becomes you and the more confident you are in it. It's just the, the connection and just wanting the other person to be better, I knew that coaching was going to be my path. A nice, good out-of-system set work. Nice, simple, high center of the court digs. You know, a lot of what we talk about is read, plan, action. And if there are other things happening on the court, like you gotta be ready to be able to, to read what's going on, to plan what you're gonna do, and then to, to execute. You cannot be here just waiting the tee. So you come here, okay, swing there, G, and then you set. Both must work here, not just one person. Come on. Perfect, here we go. I feel that we should establish that everyone is learning. It's not the coach that's teaching someone. Everyone is in this process to learn. And we have to be the example for the players, for sure. No, guys, we fight for every single ball. We fight. Outside, middle, you're going to go together, you're going to go solo. I started playing when I was nine years old, and I just automatically fell in love with it. I played indoor, I played beach um, all season. She understands the game because she played in the high level. And to see somebody successful, to see somebody that's been there, and have won championships and, and have her on your side, I think is huge for the girls. I think having a female presence, like the girls just feel more like comfort and especially like it's nice when you do play the sport and so you understand like I went through this, like whatever you need help with, just to be there for them. Volleyball is such a mental sport that we need to be mentally prepared as much as we are physically prepared. And I've also kind of incorporated with USF visualization before practices and kind of just like Taking like five minutes just to like take a deep breath, focus in why we're here. I want you guys to self-reflect. What positive reinforcements can I tell myself? How can I bounce back from a mistake? Whether we're down in a match, momentum is shifting to, towards the other team. What can I do to self-reflect as a team and individually? They have three great coaches right now that know the game, love the game, and are there for them. So they have everything they need. Now it's performing when it gets tough, and then you know creating a culture that other people want to be a part of.
it's really rewarding to see them like have that light bulb switch and then be like, oh, I can do this. And then their confidence builds and then they're swinging harder and faster. Once they feel that we care, we can demand everything from them and they're gonna fight for you. And they're gonna fight for the team.